Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to show you how I make these little button packs that you see here. I usually only make these when I'm preparing for a convention, so that is what I'm doing. And this video assumes that you know the basics of how to make buttons, and if you don't, I have a whole video on that where I explain how to set up the files in Photoshop to make sure that your pictures follow the template and to make sure that they print out the correct size, all that information, plus specifics on how to build the button. So here I am showing the process, but if you really want in-depth information on that, I'll link to that video in the description below. My button press, the hole punch, and all the button making parts are from a store here in Vancouver called Six Cent Press. Not sponsored, but everyone always asks, so that is where I got it. Here are some of the different parts that make up a button. And here I'm combining the parts in the button press to make the buttons. And like I said, please refer to that existing video if you want specifics on how to make these. If you don't have your own button press, you can actually get a company to make buttons for you. A lot of companies provide that service, especially online companies. So if you don't want to invest in a button press yourself, you can just submit your designs to those companies and they will make the buttons for you and ship them to you. And then you can create these packs yourself. So now I'm getting started on the packaging. And this part here is the little cardboard header that goes on top of the button pack. So I have my file set to be 4.25 inches wide and three inches tall. And then I have a little divider across the middle to show me where the middle of the card is. And then I insert my graphics. And make sure that anything you put on the top half is upside down because this card is going to be folded in half and you don't want the back of the card to be upside down. Now I'm just positioning the cards to print them. So I'm putting five per page and I just brought up my old design from last year to act as a template for positioning mine just so they're the same. And then I print them off. I'm printing them onto cardstock so that they're nice and thick. Here I'm using my cutter to cut out the cards. You don't need this, you can just use scissors. I just happen to have this and it works a lot faster and makes nice straight cuts but like I said, feel free to just use scissors. Here are the cards all cut up and nice. And now it's time to fold them in half. So that's pretty basic, just fold them in half. Ta-da! <laughs> and there you have the little toppers. Next, you're gonna need some foam sheets. I picked these up at the dollar store. You get a huge pack for only a dollar, much more than what you actually see me holding right here. So I picked out some colors that I like and that's what I'm gonna pin my buttons to. And I find that foam works really nicely because it's sturdy enough to hold the pack straight and it adds a pop of color, yet it's still easy to pin the buttons to because it's flexible and it's not gonna tear like paper would. So I feel like it's a really good thing to use for the pin backing. Right now, I'm just organizing my pins, trying to decide what order I want them to be on the foam. And I try to think of what the different colors are and I try to separate buttons that are too similar in color. So for example, if I have two dark ones, I make sure they're on opposite sides of the pack just to help balance things out. Now I'm just pinning the pins to the foam and it's a little bit tricky trying to get the distance right at first because you have to start the pin in a little bit too far like that and then push it in closer. So it takes a bit of practice to get used to where exactly you need to pin it, but you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. I have nine buttons per pack, but these foam pieces actually have enough space to fit 12. So if you do wanna do packs of 12, you can do that or you can do two packs of six per foam sheet. Now 
time arranging the rest of my buttons in the same order that they're going to be appearing just so it's much easier for me to pick out which ones I need and continue pinning them all on. Next, you need to get some clear sleeves. I got mine from clearbags.ca and that's the size I'm using. It's just a little bit bigger than four by six because it's meant to hold things that are four by six inches, like this foam, which is exactly four by six inches, which works perfectly. So I just slide it on inside. It's often a little bit tight, so I just have to shake it a little bit and shimmy it in there and there it is. And as you can see, there's too much space at the top, so I do trim it down a little bit, but I leave a bit of space so that I have room to staple on the top piece. Once all the button packs are in their sleeves, it's time to staple on the top piece. And I just use this little stapler here because that's the only stapler I have. And it's actually the perfect length that if I staple down as far as I can go, it's the perfect length for stapling. So I put two staples, one on each side, and I do take that into account when I make the header. As you can see, the by Bailey J text falls right between the staples, so it's not covering any important text. One thing you can do that I don't do is that if you want the back of your button pack to look a little more decorative, you could insert a card that has a pattern on it or maybe promotional information about your website or you could even just slip in one of your business cards. And that's how easy it is. These are really fun to make and they're really cute to have at your table at a convention or whatever it is that you're doing. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I put together some Art of 2016 buttons. Okay, let's see how this compares to the first printout. Oh yeah, this is the better, this is the better version, I think. Wait, some of them look the same. It's kind of interesting, like these ones are brighter, which I kind of like. Like look at the purples here.